Well hello everybody and welcome to this month's vlog for Agricology from Dalesford Farm. Uh, my name's Richard Smith and we've been actually in this field several times through the last 12 months and I wanted to show you the next stage. We grew a crop of winter oats in here following a red clover lay and ryegrass lay that was in for three years. It's actually worked really, really well uh, and we yielded about two and three quarter tonnes to the acre. That was harvested about 10 days ago and now we're preparing the field to put it back into grass. Now our farm ranges from Cotswold Brash and some lighter soil in the middle right down to some heavy ground down here at the southern end of the estate. We're on that heavy ground here and so I treat it slightly differently. What we've done is we've come in with an 18 inch leg subsoiler and subsoiled this field uh, and now we're just breaking it up with a cultivator. There's actually got a set of discs on it as well just chopping the top off. It'll be left for about a week now, or hopefully it'll just dry out a little bit and then we'll work it quickly with a rotaire, get a bit of a seed bed uh, and then we'll throw our grass seed on the top with an air seeder and roll it in really tightly. As I said, the farm differs in soil types from one end to the other uh, and normally to incorporate a grass seed into our farm we were just going to stubble, break the top of the stubble air seed our grass on top and then roll it in. Because this is super heavy down here it's not quite so easy to do. The other great way to incorporate grass after a winter crop is to grow a cereal crop, uh, a spring cereal crop the following year uh, and then under sow the grass in there and there's big cost savings on that because you're just blowing your seed into the nurse crop which is your cereal crop uh, and then you'll get establishment after you've combined it and it actually works really well. You can get up to harvest time and think well it hasn't actually grown but as soon as you take that crop off and let the light in um, away it comes. So this is incorporation of grass seed into stubble because it's heavy land I've subsoiled it and now we're just chopping it up and we're going to leave it for a week or so. Um, the best time for us in this part of the country without a shadow of a doubt to incorporate grass seed is the last week in August, first week in September. If we get a favourable little bit of moisture um, I'll be grazing and fattening lambs on seed grass here by, by mid-October so we're always looking to get something as a cash crop from everything we do. Just one more point I wanted to make. Um, I'm often asked by farmers about weed control in grass lays. When you incorporate your grass lay and you've rolled it in really tightly and it's got away, if we had favourable weather in October and I saw a lot of weeds coming up into this lay, I'd top it without a shadow of a doubt. Don't worry if you can't get on in the autumn because actually the spring is a very good time to do it. So if you, the first thing in the spring, see those weeds come, top them out and the grass lay and the clover will beat it every time. So you'll end up with a really clean grass lay. We have a golden rule here, I don't let guys drive across heavy ground in the winter with Land Rovers or whatever um, because once you've disturbed that topsoil you've upset the weed bank, uh, uh, seed bank and, uh, and they'll get away. But wouldn't be worried at all about topping it, making it nice and clean and in the spring it'll come away beautifully. And as I said, if you can't get onto it in the autumn, just do it first thing in the spring uh, and you'll find that the grass will beat those weeds every time. 